Good morning from Tucson. Uh, today is a good day, and I don't know why. You know, some days you just kind of wake up and you just think to yourself, I'm gonna have a fantastic day. Well, today is one of those days. And I have to say, most days kind of feel like that these days. Um, so obviously next to me I got the grass. Um, I'm gonna go drop it off over at the bus over at Glenn's place. Um, I also have the ladder in the back. That's what that box is. Um, and I got the good vibes pillow right there. I'm feeling good vibes, man. Maybe it's a pillow's doing. Um, I gotta call the AC uh, company and uh, give them my, uh, uh, what's it, the, the VIN number from the bus so they can look up the proper air conditioning cover. That's perhaps what happened in Salt Lake City. They gave them the, the part number and then uh, they gave them the, the wrong corresponding parts because uh, there was, talked to two different people at Trans Air, which manufactures the rooftop air conditioning unit. Two different, uh, replacement parts from two different people, so we're gonna sort that out. Um, besides that, I got a couple other things to do and I can't really recall what they are right now. You know, I gotta say, I do see a lot of interesting things on the road since I drive so much, and this is one of the more interesting things that I've seen. This guy has his rear door up for no reason whatsoever, and is, uh, <laughs> is uh, driving erratically, and not because I think they're impaired, but they just might not be with it. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> they have a handicap placard, and I hate to draw any conclusions from that, but, um, you know, I don't know if this person should be driving. Well, looks like grandma's driving and grandma might not have realized that um, her real, rear tailgate is up. Maybe we should tell grandma her tailgate's up. <laughs> well, I honked at her. She waved, and I think she understood. Oh, she's closing it, yay! She's also stopped <laughs> in a lane right now. <laughs> well, now that I've done my good deed for the day, I'm gonna order breakfast. Oh, McDonald's, what can we make for you this morning? Hi, right, could I have an Egg McMuffin, no cheese, and a small coffee, but can I only have half of the cup filled with coffee, and then I'd like a small kid's milk, please? That's how we do it. All right, now it is time to get the VIN number. And, yep, got my phone on me. Uh, I gotta call the air conditioning company and tell them the VIN. All right, and away we go. Hear that? That's mud. Uh, okay, so, dropped off the grass and the ladder. Still got my tools, I might go back to the junkyard, but what I'm going to do for sure is I'm gonna track down one of these uh, portable toilets to put inside the trunk so that way, <laughs> I can install it with the grass in one day. Um, so I'm just gonna try and source all the parts, parts right now. I don't know where exactly I'm going, but I will have a toilet by the end of the day. All right, I might be in luck. I'm at the first junkyard of the day. Well, technically second, because I stopped by another place and I saw this cool international harvester milk van from like the 40s, 50s, or 60s, or something like that, which is super cool. If you guys know what that is, you'll know what I'm talking about. <coughs> the van in question is all the way in the back, and it hasn't been set on rims yet, like these ones. And he said it hasn't been processed yet, so there's a good chance my part will be on the van. And uh, yeah, if I see another van, I'm gonna look for a seat, because my seat sucks. <laughs> so we got no luck. Wrong years, wrong kinds of vans. I think there's another one over here though. Um, the one that in that he originally told me about, which wasn't being processed yet, was actually already stripped out. Mmm, we are in luck. 
this is exactly what I'm looking for. Finally, there it is right there. This little clippy thing, which attaches to that. And I need one of those screws too. Success, sweet. I better get back here with my tools before somebody takes that piece. I got it. These things right here <coughs> adjust the pitch and the angle of the headlights. See, without it, they fall down. The dealership wanted 140 bucks for these. I have a feeling I'm gonna pay about five bucks here, but let's go find out. Let this adventure be a lesson to you that uh, if you give up, it might be the next try where you find success. So, I know there's a bunch of uh, memes and things out there, but you know, there's one of this guy digging for diamonds or something and he gives up right before he finds them. So, <laughs> so that's my message for today. Don't give up and you will find what you were looking for. Eight bucks. Eight bucks is all he wanted, plus tax. 867 for parts that would have cost me a hundred, I don't know, 140 bucks or something like that, or 150, 155. Whatever it was, it was too much money from the dealership. Eight bucks, great deal. All right, well, it looks like we found it here. This is not the one that I'm looking for, but I did find a kombucha. I'm always looking for a kombucha. Um, I think I'm gonna head back over to the um, RV, what's it called, Camping World. Cause they have like a, a better selection of this kind, of, these kinds of things, so. All right, I'm now back over to uh, Glenn's. My uh, new camera. <laughs> Uh, is sticking a little bit, the uh, little thing that closes. <laughs> uh, I'm back over here. Um, I got those parts in my little tool chest. I might as well try and switch it. Uh, I got about 15 minutes before Emily comes over. If you guys remember Emily, photojournalist living the van life. Um, she's back in town, I'm in town, so I think we're gonna head over to uh, uh, Sabino Canyon or Saguaro uh, National Monument. Uh, and check out all these uh, cactuses up on the hill that you can't really see, but take my word for it, they're there and they're beautiful. All right, so we got uh, Dan the Adventure Bus all fired up. We got the uh, headlights fixed with the new uh, bolts uh, right there and right there on both sides. They're probably still gonna need an adjustment. And look who's here, it's Emily and Peoria. <laughs> so uh, Emily got a new camera, which I'll show you guys in a minute, but we're gonna take this whole big box and uh, also my new camera, my A7S, up to uh, Sabino Canyon, do a couple photos. So, looking forward to it. A dog. Yeah. What is this camera called? It is a four by five. Four by five, and that's a lens right there, huh? Yes. Ooh, fancy. We're over at uh, Sabino Canyon and uh, we're doing a long exposure film shoot with uh, me and Danny Adventure Bus on this like super rad vintage camera. Where, you said you got this at a, a garage yard. sale? Yeah, yard sale here in uh, Tucson right before I left. No way. Yeah. But you got a good price on this thing too, I got huh? a really good price on this thing. <laughs> and then I had to get the lens later. Oh, okay. But Interesting. It's here now. So, so we are not uh, playing dress up here. It is not <laughs> Halloween, not a ghost. What Emily, what Emily is doing is she is looking through this monitor at an upside down uh, bus here because um, that's how, I don't, it, it's, you gotta go like to the um, photography exhibits that explain how it works, but basically the image refracts and whatever ends up upside down. <laughs> Nailed it, science! <laughs> Hashtag yeah. science. All right, uh, me and Emily are gonna have some uh, dinner and I'm coming back over to the pho place that I ate at, which you guys don't know about because I was sick and I wasn't vlogging, so. Pho show! <laughs> pho 88.